it's not a drastic change. People are still expecting interest rates to rise further from here, but at now a, a, a slower pace and with less rises needed. Still. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's, it's a slightly complicated chart, but it's worth just kind of underlining what's going on here, because what you're seeing here is off in the future, what's expected for interest rates. And I think we can put it up on a big screen now and I can kind of, maybe I can kind of point a few things out here. First, first of all, you know, think back, that, that kind of red line there, September 2022, you can kind of see that was what was expected after the mini budget. So a very big increase around that time uh, of interest rates kind of expected to go up. Obviously, that didn't happen. Interest rates kind of went up much more gradually. But here's the thing that you really should focus on right now, OK? So not long ago, they, people thought they were going to kind of stay very low. We're in a different world now, totally different universe. People think they're going a lot higher, and indeed they have. But here's the key thing, OK? Only a month ago, actually really a few weeks ago, the expectation was that rates were going to get up to maybe 6.5%. So that red line there... Whereas now, just as of this morning, you can see they're expected to peak below 6% and to come down. Now, I know in the circumstances, you know, that's not necessarily good news. That certainly wouldn't have been considered good news for mortgage holders back in February last year when interest rates were expected to stay really low. But even so, the move is downwards rather than up. And that line has been going up, up, up. These are expectations, as I say, for the future for interest rates. And those lines, those curves have been going up, up, up. The fact that they're just gradually coming down, it's a change in the dynamic, which, as I say, is the important thing. As, 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 as Gemma and Mohammed were saying, you know, the levels are high, whether compared with the rest of the world, they're high for everyone, th you know, feeling this. This is another part of the cost of living crisis right now, mortgage costs, as well as gas costs, as well as everything else. But the fact that the dynamic is starting to shift is something to note and something to dwell on because there's been so much bad news on this in the past.